All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger, Mauricio El Maestro Herrera. And his opponent across the ring, the defending champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with black trim, Danny Swift. He attacks the body with the right hand. See Herrera trying to mix the jab up and down, just trying to give Garcia different targets. Attacks the midsection with the dabs. He's landed that jab to the stomach very well. Garcia with the straight right hand. He's landing big punches already early. Yeah, Herrera has a pesky style. You know, he knows how to just hang in there and win rounds when needed. Herrera again attacking the body with the jab. Round two begins. An example of the peskiness of Herrera there on the mm -hmm. inside in a clinch. He's trying to move his hands and, and just land those little sh little sh baby shots. As Garcia tries to load up some left hooks here. Herrera continues to target the body with the jab. So Garcia's fight is all about positioning. He wants to keep himself in punch position at all times. Well balanced. He lands a partial left hook there. Herrera targeting the body. Just Lead overhand right by Herrera connected. There's a triple jab by Herrera, and Garcia's head just got popped back. But there's Garcia with a lead right hand to the side of Herrera's head, and again, Herrera continues to target the torso of the champion. He's showing us his defense. There he slipped the right hand. His jab is working overhand, overtime, and he's showing you combinations. He can throw them. 45 seconds left in the second round. This is what I mean right here. You see what Herrera's doing? He's just trying to keep Garcia uncomfortable. He's keep moving his hands in it while Garcia's trying to clinch and regain position. He has a patient stalking approach. Double jab, there's a lead left uppercut by Garcia that connects. Double jab again to the midsection, followed by a right hand to the breadbasket by Herrera. Counter right. Good second round for the challengers. The champion comes on in the dying seconds of round two. Very festive crowd. Been making noise all night long leading up to okay, this okay, main okay. event as again they clinch right away. Herrera coming in close and again with the jab to the sternum. So Herrera has landed some nice hooks like that. But this is exactly what Herrera told us he wanted out of this fight. He wanted to make it uncomfortable. He wanted to make it ugly for Danny Garcia. Now holding the back of his head and clubbing him with a couple of right hands. Being admonished by the referee. Lead left hook to the side of the head there. That was partially blocked by Herrera's glove. Here comes Herrera. Garcia misses with the counter left hook. Man, Garcia cuts off the ring a little bit here, and that's what you want to see. Again, nothing spectacular, but effective in neutralizing Garcia. We are headed to round four of this championship affair. The crowd is not really into it like they were at the beginning of the fight. Left hook by Garcia. Right hand almost oh, behind the head, shot. and then there's a left hand to the body by the champion. And now things begin to pick up here in round four. Again, the jab to the solar plexus by Herrera. Garcia just misses with the left hook. Double jab from Herrera. There he goes again with the jab. Nice jab from Herrera through the guard. Lead right hand by Herrera as they clinch again, both working the body to break. A minute left in the fourth. Again, Herrera just firing off that jab twice. Danny Garcia defending his unified 140-pound crown against the gritty Mauricio Herrera. But every punch actually hurts. Well put. Oh, oh and there was a stiff right hand from Herrera. He eats another jab, however. And Herrera attacking the body. Garcia a little agitated. Again, Garcia trying to keep his jab working this round. Again, Herrera leads with the jab. His calling card. Crowd trying to rally Danny Garcia. There's a three-punch combination by the champion. Yeah. As round six is underway. Oh, good shot there by Garcia. Good one-two combination. Nice left hook counter the body by Garcia. Garcia coming forward. 40 seconds left in the sixth round. Herrera's been walking down Garcia 
for a good chunk of the fight now. There's a counter right hand by Herrera over the top. Garcia's done some good counter punching in this round. So the question will be whether the judges are liking that or Herrera's aggressive. Garcia looking for that left uppercut. He flashes the jab, walking down Herrera oh. now, but there's a jab popped off by the challengers. We head to the second half of this title fight. Pesky and looks to smother you, you just end up getting smothered. Garcia's father and trainer Angel saying, you better wake up as we begin the second half of this championship fight. Herrera even landed a good right hand early on in the round. And he's making the fight. He's following Garcia around. And look at, look at this. Even roughing him up a little bit. There's a jab by Garcia. Garcia misses with that left hook. And jab tags the chin of Garcia. Nice move there by Garcia. There's a couple of left hooks. Yeah. So we head towards the finish line of round number seven. It's been a very tough fight thus far for the champion, Danny Garcia. There's a left uppercut to the body by Garcia. Right cross by Herrera. Pauly is the jab to the body, considered a scoring blow, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it be? I don't think it's a matter of the judges not scoring the punches. I think it's a matter of the fight's in Puerto Rico, and it's going to be hard for her well, to get a decision. Well, so we shouldn't question well, the judges. That's, that's yeah. another question. I don't think it has anything to do with, well, with it, the jab being it, scored or it's not. It's supposed to. I mean, it's that's to, the point. Course. And it's a punch you don't see all the time. And when it lands, you, people don't often, you know, they may not give it credit. Of course, we saw Marcos Maidana use that jab to the body to set up the left hook that uh, knocked down Adrian Broderfall. Yeah. He's going back to what Angel told Danny, slipped over to the left. The problem is here, it, you, it works on guys who throw conventional punches. Herrera throws in weird styles. He kind of jumps in with his right hand. There's a left hand to the body by Garcia. The fans here in Puerto Rico becoming a little restless with what they're seeing from the champion who's trying to get on track now against the very tricky challenger, Mauricio Herrera. And Garcia using his footwork, attacking the body with the left hand. You know, I think Herrera's doing some very, very good work here, but these are tough rounds to score. Garcia grew up watching Mexican legend Julio Cesar Chavez and his proficient body work. Didn't use go to the body much in the first half of this fight, but here's a quick flurry as we go to round nine. To round number nine, Herrera with a cut under his left eye, cut for the second time in his career. We talked about the fact his left eye was swollen shut against Ruslan Provodnikov and Mike Alvarado, and now Herrera walking down, Garcia again, clinching right him, right and the right hand of the body followed by a right hand of the side of Garcia's head. Triple jab by Herrera. Just a messed up rhythm by Herrera, hard and to that's time. exactly what he said, and right? Garcia, to... Yeah, Garcia's got to work, and it's tough. He's trying to fight too conventional. It's hard to fight a guy like Herrera so conventionally. Things that will usually work won't work, so you got to get back to your basics. As he continues to use that jab to keep Garcia at bay, a short right uppercut inside by Herrera. Fans beginning to once again boo. There were cheers of Danny at the beginning of the fight. Who would have thought that Lucas Matisse was going to be less effective at walking down Danny Garcia than Mauricio Herrera, even though Matisse had his mole. Oh, oh, straight there. back there. He just blew up Danny Garcia's face of blood with this beautiful combination. Herrera has Garcia along the ropes. And now that was a great point. The reason he's being able to walk Danny down is because Danny cannot figure out how he's being set up. No matter how hard or soft the puncher fights, a fighter, a fighter punches. Some good exchanges here. And now the crowd beginning to rally Garcia. Herrera tries to smother him again. Garcia working the body. There's a chopping right hand. Coming up on the final 10 seconds of the ninth. Another strong round for the challenger as Garcia wants to try to steal it in the final seconds of the round. from Herrera. One minute gone in the 10th. And one of the judges has it for Herrera, 77-75. Counter left hook by Herrera. Two for Garcia at this time. That was a good combination by Garcia. The fans reacting favorably, but Herrera standing tall, delivers another jab. Garcia leading with the left hook, misses with the left hook upstairs. Herrera in the... In the eye of the storm, staying very focused, utilizing that jab. And again, a grown man hitting another grown man, it still hurts. Garcia fighting with a fighting spirit here. 
Garcia getting that hook in. From time to time, he lands a really good left hook. Not as often as he would like, of course. That a lightning quick three-punch combination from Danny Garcia. The final 45 seconds of the 10th. Nails him with a right. And that's what we want to see, these combinations right here. And the counter left from Garcia. Herrera trying to batter the body. Garcia doubling over. And Garcia, who finds himself along the ropes again. We are headed to the championship rounds. Garcia versus Herrera. and Mauricio Herrera. There's the jab from Garcia. Herrera along the ropes. Garcia now beginning to unload. Herrera pushes him back with the jab. Again, pesky shots by Herrera. Just enough to keep Garcia off balance. Not, not think it's going to really do a lot of damage, but still annoying. First sign of a little bit of fatigue from Herrera. He stayed on the ropes a lot this round, and it's allowed Garcia to Get some distance. A left hook. The right See, hand. And the crowd, of course, responding to everything Garcia throws. And in what was otherwise a good round for Herrera now, he may be giving it away to Danny Garcia in these final, this final minute or so. There's a chopping right hand by Garcia, then backing away. On to another successful title defense. He's been in the trenches with Mauricio Herrera. Final 30 seconds of the penultimate round. Disrupt the timing of Garcia, although he's had himself a pretty good round. The 12th and final round is in our sights here in Puerto Rico. Garcia lands the left counter right from Herrera. It's possible Herrera took the last round off to save it for a big 12th round. Let's see. Comes out stalking. It was one of those jabs to the, the midsection, and it set up the jab to the head. A right hand by Herrera, and a stiff jab from Garcia. Jab to the body by Herrera. Walking down again, working the body momentarily. Garcia clinching him. Herrera trying to fight out of the clinch, coming forward with the lead left hook. There's a right hand through the guard by Garcia. You can see the blood coming out of his nose. But he's letting go of those combinations, Libby. He's finding a little bit of distance for those yeah, combinations. A little, but the jab and the combination punching are Herrera in yeah, this yeah. round. You know what it is? Garcia's fighting off the back foot. He's throwing some combinations here and there, but he's not using his jab. If you're going to fight off the back foot, keep that distance with your jab and then set up those combinations. Left hook counter by Herrera. Final 30 seconds. Hook right. Straight right, right hand by Herrera. We've gone through 12 tough rounds for this unified 140 pound championship. Will Danny Garcia retain the title? Or will Herrera spoil Garcia's Puerto Rican homecoming? Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a majority decision here, the score totals. Judge at ringside, Gustavo Padilla, scores them out 114 to 114. Judges Alejandro Rochin and Carlos Colon both score them out 116 to 112. And still champion, Danny Garcia. And by the hair of his chinny chin chin, Danny Garcia escapes Puerto Rico with his championships intact.